Emma has heard about a girl who is very sick and who is taking part in a clinical trial. Why are children needed for this? This is a really difficult subject. Children can be very different. Just think of premature babies or nearly grown-ups. Growth and development of body and mind is enormous in childhood and has unique features. Not every substance that has proven effective in adults is also suitable for treating children. Some diseases occur exclusively in children or progress differently in adults. So, when a sick child needs a medicine to treat its illness, we want to be sure to know which drug, at which dose, is best suited to help this child. That's why we have to examine precisely the safety, efficacy and the right dosage of a drug for the specific age groups. Usually, an age-appropriate form of application has to be developed as well, like, for example, a syrup. The EU requires that clinical trials are performed in children if they can also be affected by the disease for which the new drug was developed. Particularly high standards apply for paediatric studies to protect the participating children. The parents are informed in detail. At the same time, the child, too, is informed in an age-appropriate manner. Not only the parents, but also the child must agree to participate in the trial. If they do not want to participate or want to stop their participation during the trial, they can, of course, do so at any time without giving a reason. If you have any further questions on clinical trials, please visit our website or contact us.